The community is still in shock. The entire Treasure Valley still reeling from the bus crash that killed an 11-year-old boy who was on his way to school yesterday morning. Two other children are still in the hospital this morning, and now investigators are trying to piece together what went wrong and who's to blame. Nicole Pineda joins us live from the scene, and she is also joined this morning by the father of the boy killed, Daniel Cook. And Nicole, I can only imagine this, this is an emotional time, so uh, we send it over to you. Very, very emotional. This is Rob Cook, uh, the father of, of uh, Daniel Robert Cook, who passed away yesterday. Rob, how are, how are you and your family coping with this? It's tough. It's real tough. I wanted to uh, say before, or take the opportunity to say that, first of all, the um, our hearts and prayers are with the other four children who were injured. And we're really hoping for a full recovery for them. And to the truck driver who jumped out and tried to help my son, eternal gratitude for that. It's tough for everybody that was involved in this from all aspects. And we don't harbor any feelings of hatred or anger towards any one person. Because whoever was involved, everybody that was involved in this has a lot, a lot of emotional baggage to deal with right now. I want to say to the, the community and, and <clears throat> friends and family for the, the show of support and the love, we thank you. We thank you. Thank you. And please know that the, the thoughts and prayers of the entire valley are, are with you and your family right now. Thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. All right, Nicole, thank you. And Mr. Cook, thank you so much. It's just, it's a heartbreaking time. It's unimaginable as a parent and as, as a community. So, Nicole, thank you for that. And Mr. Cook, thank you for speaking with us. To the Cook family, we love you, and our thoughts are definitely with you this morning. And there are two children who are still in the hospital. You heard him make reference to them. Now investigators are trying to piece together what went wrong and who's to blame. And this is what we know. As you heard, 11-year-old Daniel Cook was killed in the crash. Four other kids were hurt. Two were still in the hospital. Two were released with just minor injuries. Now Deborah Boatwright was driving the bus involved here, and Charles Derby was driving the dump truck. Neither of them was hurt. Our own Jay Bates spent all day yesterday on the scene, and he brings us more about what happened. Idaho State Police arrived on scene just before 8 a.m. to the accident involving a school bus on the way to Crimson Point Elementary in CUNA and a dump truck that was traveling northbound on Happy Valley Road. The basics, the bus had a stop sign, the dump truck did not have a stop sign, they met in the intersection. The collision sent four children to the hospital and left 11-year-old Daniel Robert Cook dead on the scene. The driver of the dump truck was one of the first to reach Cook after the accident. He was pretty upset. Um, obviously, he was uh, doing what he could to render aid. He's the first one there. He knows what happened. He knows there's kids hurt. And uh, so he saw the, the nitty gritty, if you will, of the crash scene. Well, he told me he did what he could to render aid to that, um, that boy. And he knew that it was futile. Investigators now are working to reconstruct the crash and determine exactly what happened. There was a lot of weight involved. You got a, a, a heavy vehicle um, being struck by a heavy vehicle. And so uh, any impact, uh, particularly to little bodies, it's going to do a lot of damage. The bus driver was taken to an area hospital for emotional distress. The driver of the dump truck was not treated and is helping investigators piece together what happened. But I did talk to both of them, and uh, they they've got this to deal with in their own way and, and it's going to be hard for them. And that was Jay Bates with that. Now commercial vehicle investigators do say the dump truck had several safety violations but they haven't figured out whether any of those could have been factors in the crash. Yeah, state police say because there was a death involved they do expect charges to be filed but it could take weeks of investigation to determine who was at fault and therefore who would be charged. And we're going to be following up on this terrible accident throughout the morning, throughout the coming weeks as that investigation unfolds. 
And, you know, we just want to say here as well at Good Morning Idaho and at Today 6 and Fox 9, we're human as well. I don't think I've seen as many hugs shared around the newsroom as we did yesterday as we were covering this difficult news. Our hearts and prayers go out to the Cook family, the families of the other children who are still hoping for a recovery this yep, morning. Absolutely. All right.